The Fishing News is brought to you by Intellux Marine Paint and Okuma. Well, I wish I had a lot of great reports to share with you, but since the weather turned sour on Sunday, a lot of things slowed down quite a bit in this, uh, in this nor'easter to start the week. And wherever you look, high water in Delaware, uh, throughout South Jersey, a lot of beach erosion uh, all along the Jersey Shore, hopefully maybe in uh, North Jersey, we'll start seeing those jetties return again sometime soon. I'm Jim Hutchinson with the New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine here at Fisherman Supply in Point Pleasant. Uh, everybody's following this story this week. On Friday at 10 a.m. here in the parking lot at Fisherman Supply, uh, the New Jersey DEP Commissioner Bob Martin and several industry leaders are going to be here to talk fluke. A lot of the, uh, the media, uh, hopefully the New York media and all the New Jersey media, the Fisherman Magazine will be here and we're expecting quite the show. Uh, for members of the public. So if you are available this Friday at 10 a.m., uh, be sure to turn out here at Fisherman Supply in Point Pleasant and check out what's happening with Fluke. Now again, Blackfish, TOG, uh, is the core action for, uh, it's, it's been that way throughout January and should continue uh, through February. From Sandy Hook and those wreck sites uh, farther off the coast there, in North Jersey, all the way down to the reef sites in Delaware. Party boats like the Norma Kay and the Paramount have been getting out looking for blackfish, uh, some picky bites here and there. But again, nobody's been sailing the last few days, so as folks get back out on the grounds this weekend, hopefully we have better news. Here at Fisherman Supply, the Voyager parked out back. She's got one more trip for the season, uh, for this winter season. That's on Friday going to Block Island for cod, gonna come out for a little bit of maintenance and get back in for uh, the spring. And some more of the hardcore charter options, Jersey Hooker, Barb Gale 4, um, they're fishing open, actually. The Barb Gales, he's got a few open trips uh, through Saturday uh, and also throughout February. So if you're looking for one of those charter options to get out there, open boat, uh, continuing to fish for those blackfish off the Jersey coast. Now we've also got reports that Big Jamaica was out this past Saturday and will be out on the grounds again this Saturday offshore uh, looking for cod, some of those jumbo porgies, and of course some pollock. Some big pollock have been brought in on some of those offshore trips. Farther south, uh, we've gotten a report from some of the guys out of Delaware. We got the report from um, down at Old Inlet Bait and Tackle, also from Lewis uh, Harbor Marina. Uh, some guys found action in the deep. And as a matter of fact, we had a, a 200 pound swordfish reported over the weekend at Norfolk Canyon. In fact, if you're looking for a, a couple of day trip and looking to get in some of that offshore action, don't forget, uh, down on, along the outer banks, you know, uh, Oregon Inlet, Pirates Cove, Folks are, are finding that Gulf Stream water, that Gulf Stream, in closer. So if you just can't wait to get in on some of that tuna action, that might be worth a trip. Or you can also uh, tune up on some of your offshore skills this Saturday. Canyon Runner uh, is going to be in Atlantic City this week. They've got that full day of offshore seminar series. That's going on Saturday. You might want to log in to CanyonRunner.com to find out about um, space available for that big show on Saturday. Of course, the fisherman staff is going to be at the Javits Center in New York City. We're there all week uh, for the New York Boat Show. Some uh, seminars going on. The Recreational Fishing Alliance is putting on seminars. I'll be there Saturday standing at the booth. Make sure you stop by, find out what your gift is for getting your new or renewing subscription to the Fisherman Magazine. As a matter of fact, we're going to have some copies of the February edition available there. So come on out and see us at that show. Now, don't forget... This Friday, 10 a.m., here at Fisherman Supply, that big rally and press conference with the state of New Jersey to talk about the state of our summer flounder restrictions. I'll tell you what, this gulp here, it's not going to fish itself. We need some, we need some uh, flexibility here, and hopefully we'll find out more. Uh, to continue to find out more about that event and what's going on, log in to thefisherman.com. Follow our Fisherman uh, 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 Facebook page as well. Any further updates about Friday's event, we'll share them there. And uh, who knows, let's, uh, let's see if we can't make fluke fishing great again in 2017. See you there, see you at the New York Boat Show, and as always, I'll see you here next week at thefisherman.com. The Fishing News is brought to you by Intellux Marine Paint and Okuma.